Hi guys, it's Maria from Sweden here, aka Planner Mother of Three. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I would like to show you my traveler notebooks uh, that I've got from the company that's called Traveler's Company. It's, uh, as I've understood it, the same company or era where the Midori is. Um, <clears throat> but this brand is called the Traveler's Company and it's a Japanese brand. Um, and I'm quite newbie in this system, uh, but it talks to me 100% and I am very happy that I finally, uh, finally decided that I wanted to, to give it a try. And I have really found the perfect use of them. And I will show you the different ones um, that how I have set them up and how I am using them. Uh, this video will be a memory keeping focus. So I'll start by just showing the other ones and I will dig into this one and I'll show you how it looks inside. Anyway, the Traveler's Company come, uh, the Traveler Company's notebooks come in two different sizes, the regular size and in this really cute size that is called the passport size. So this one has become my all, my carry, my everyday carry. It fits perfectly in my Konken or in, in other in any other bag. Sorry, it's early in the morning. Um, <clears throat> and I'll talk to you about this one in another video. And then it comes in uh, four different colors uh, in these ones and in, in a darker brown. So a black and blue. This one is actually blue. Uh, and then in camel. And <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry. Uh, as I've understood is that it differs in what year or what shipment you get, uh, you know, how these tones are. Um, I've heard people talking about this one as being very stiff. Mine is very, very, very smooth. Um, I've seen the blue one going much more into blue green or blue or even blacker than this one. And this one was very black when I got it, but I made a cover yoga with this one and some inner tones of blue green um, was appearing. So this one is really, really cool. And then we have the black one. And the interesting thing is that I've been <clears throat> very inspired by Quoth the Crow, Jackie and Cecilia on Scientist Plan. And I had deep talks with um, Jackie uh, about what what kind of size should I uh, choose? And she said, I think you're a regular person. And then um, what kind of color should I choose? She was even with me in the shop uh, by on FaceTime. And um, well, well there I couldn't really choose. So I ended up buying all of them. Um, and <clears throat> When I first unpacked the box uh, of every, every each one of them, they were kind of, it looked like they've been used. So I was kind of, you know, oh, you know, and I showed Jackie, I filmed it and I said, is it supposed to look like this? And she was like, yeah, good, it looks really nice. And I was like, no, it doesn't, because I'm used to, I want to have it in perfection. You know, all the leather covers that I've got are, you know, there are, are no marks at all. But with these ones, you really want them to, to be, you know, looking used. So now I don't care about the scratches at all. I am just a happy carrier. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I love how, how it looks more and more used. Um, and what you can do is that you can put some grease on it and m to make it more uh, greasy because the leather is getting uh, dry, of course. And then you will have a new kind of look on them. But for now, I am very happy how they look. So I'll have to take a sip. Cheers. Mm. It's been a long time, guys, and I, I'm so happy to be here again. Anyway, so uh, every cover comes with a um, binding that is uh, in the same color as the cover, 
but then you get an extra that is more like an accent co uh, color and i put them all into a small box so i don't know what color you got with what uh, cover but i decided to put <coughs> orange around this right now this one is a little bit thinner because i just taken out some of the notebooks that i've had here because i can't show them and uh, the reason why i put a orange ribbon around this one is because this is my company uh, uh notebook uh that i use uh, when i'm uh, all uh, out and about uh, meeting my clients and uh when i am have when i need to have a weekly spread so here is well you know what i'm gonna talk about this in another video that's what i promised so i'll i'll keep you uh in suspense anyway and then uh, on this one as this one is very dark and sometimes i take the wrong one thinking that i want my memory keeping book and then i get this one i decided to put this uh mustard yellow ribbon around it and i love that one and and this one is a reference uh notebook where i have my lists where i will do and i already done started to do my swatches and so forth so this one is a you know a, very much of a book that will stay at home uh, and I can always go and refer back to this, you know, the information in this one. And then we end up with this one. And this one <coughs> is my, as I said, my memory keeping uh, planner. And I, this one will be the one that I will take when we're going away. We're going to France in a couple of weeks. And um, I will bring this one together with this one uh, for that trip. And of course, this one is used every day, every evening, and sometimes during the day when I really need to sit down and to write what's happened and what's in my thoughts. And I'll show you a, a little bit about that. Black with a black ribbon. Uh, and I put these, I used to make jewelries um, when uh, I was younger, or well, at least when I was in my 40s. Uh, and these were some other things. Uh, I have a lot of things uh, stashed uh, and I don't use it um, at all. Um, and But these were kind of cute, I thought, so I put that one as a charm. I don't have any of the Traveler Company's charms. Um, uh, we, they are hard to get uh, here in Sweden. Uh, they are sold out everywhere. Anyway, so <clears throat> let's start by opening this up. Uh, these Traveler Company's covers in leather are all plain, so there are no pockets or anything on in the inside. Uh, but you can uh, buy plastic uh, pockets. I've done that, but I haven't decided where I want to put them. So um, you see what you get. This is what you get. Um, plain covers with a small hole here so that the ribbon can you know start somewhere and then uh, I've bought a um, um, a pen loop uh, that I put here and I will we'll take that one off and you can you can get the pen loop in because it comes in a, with the leather and you can put this one wherever you want and it comes in all of the colors that the covers have that's kind of logic I think um, <clears throat> here is a um, Kaweco Sport uh, Macchiato uh, that I've just got uh, and I filled it up with a brownish color that I really love and I'll show you more about that uh, soon. Anyway, <clears throat> so <clears throat> it comes with two ribbons in the back, uh, one that is uh, the full length and one that is not really the full length. And I've seen people actually use this one. I haven't really decided yet if I want to do that. And then you can store and put uh, the covers or the notebooks that you want however you want to and by using the uh, elastic band in the back of the cover, but also by using some separate uh, elastic bands that you put in between two um, existing, uh, I'll show you. I'll 
take this one. So this this notebook is let's see. I want to take I don't know where it was put here it was. Put. So this notebook, um sorry, I have oops. Okay, so I damaged the, the page a little bit. Anyway, so this notebook uh, is put here. And you're supposed to put it in the middle of the uh, planner so it will stay here right and then you can you know using it as you normally do and these two are connected by a ribbon by that i put here in the middle of this one and in the middle of this one and then <clears throat> i put them under the large elastic and then uh, there are some other inserts so that's the principle of these traveler notebooks and as i am being a newbie i feel like humble in you know giving you advice how to to put these together because there are hundreds of ways of doing that and i won't you know I will probably do some other videos where I try out different ones, but um, how to put these so that they will be more aligned, not being outside the cover and so forth. But right now I'm quite happy how this one looks and how I can use it. Anyway, so I, I will remind you, this is my memory keeping, my journaling um, planner. And what I've done is that I started to put a craft paper folder in the beginning to a little bit protect the um, the next insert because this is a black black colored leather and you can see because this is getting very much dark darker than it was when I got it so this one protects it a little bit as well um, what it does but you can see here that you have a black um, line from the leather but I, I'm, I'm all fine with that here I have some um, on my tabs I haven't started to use this yet but I thought that they were going to be a good way of um, you know if you want to highlight some pages and <clears throat> two stencils one from the Hobonichi and one from the Kokoyo uh, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to be using these, but I put them there when I went uh, on vacation a couple of, or last week actually, um, and they will, they are still there. And here you have a place where you can put, you know, a card or something if you want to. Let's, like, like for instance, no, I can't put that one. You put a credit, like if you had a credit card, let's see. Let's play that this one is a credit card. You can put it like this. Um, in, yeah, and I use these. Uh, this is a hotel key card from Pleitas from Fuerteventura, where we're going this summer. Again, it's a training camp. Um, and I use these for, you know, cutting my washies when I use them. And then you have this really, really, really nice, um, uh, um, sorry, some plastic. It's good to go through because then I can clean them, right? Um, this insert that is in fabric in the most beautiful orange earthy tone. And um, this is this was quite hard to find. So I, I um, had to go on internet to buy them from another country. Um, and they, it, this one comes with a big pocket here and with three different pockets here. So what I've done is that I've put some double-sided um, um, tape from Hobonichi. I'm thinking that I might need that, that when I want to put a, you know, a receipt or a card or something when I am on travel. And then I put some, you know, okay, this one was, um, I put some of those um, Hello, Hello Cuckoo uh, stickers because here uh, you have some from Paris. And as we're going there, I thought that when I'm doing my daily journaling, I might use them there. But I think I would go on this. I might even put this in the small plastic, I think, to protect them. And then I have a sticker here as well as a small sticker there. So yeah, and in the big pocket, I have a... Um, 
these b-sides and rarities and that's uh, from this this collection also but this one is a sticker release paper and this one i actually bought from the states so you know i've been all over the world to get my things that i wanted and this one is as i said the sticker release paper so here i've started to put you know stickers that i really would like to use in this planner and they come from the happy planner and they come from sticker washies and some other i don't know the brain or oh, the brain sorry the brand <laughs> uh, hopefully it's my brain um and when i was looking through my stash i found some you know stickers that are just paris related so i put all of them here here's one of the eiffel tower and then i have you know some of them here in the back so I am really looking forward to use these now when I am on my trip. So I will put, you know, some all functional stickers and dreamy stickers and code stickers so that I can keep playing and keep doing my pages when I am away. Uh, and that's one of the really nice things with this, you know, system. And being able to carry everything in a, in a planner is that I can do everything when I am on the trip and not waiting till I get home. That can be another way of doing some memorizing or reflection about the trip. But just, you know, being able to write about the small things that happened right there and right now. I think that will be so much fun. Um, and I will, of course, combine this one with this one. So when I am about, uh, you know, when we're we're going to be able to do a lot of walking, well, then I put this one into the this small passport planner. So I'll bring it together with this one if I want to write and do some journaling in this one. So we'll see. It will work perfectly well. Anyway, they come very neutral, uh, the, the inserts. Uh, in very nice colors, as you can see, orange, green, beige, yellowish, um, um, gray, did I say that? Yeah, brown maybe. Mm, and you can see the difference between them by, uh, I'll show you some that I haven't opened yet. Um, like for instance, here we have three different ones. I have a stash of many different things that I haven't opened yet and they come all in different numbers so that you can easily see if you want to buy another one of these Midori paper uh, with grid. Well, then I know that I have to buy some number two. So what I've done is that I have actually written the number of the um, the insert on the inside of the cover so that I can easily refer if someone is asking or if I just want to remind myself or when I am supposed to buy a new one, I know that I want a number 13 if I want the same as this one. So yeah, that's good. Uh, and this one is a monthly insert and the monthly insert comes with the dates as I have ordered it. I have one that is all also undated and I'll see what I want to use that one for. I am thinking of doing that as a gratitude log um, or maybe as a health log. So we'll see uh, in this area, in that kind of area. We'll see about that. Anyway, as I said, they come all plain and then it's up to you if you want to you know, decorate them or if you want to keep them all plain and just put a box an etiquette uh, where you can write what what it is or if it just you know to do this sticker dymo um thing and this one is a dymo this one is called omega and um eight out of ten they do quite well and sometimes it forgets to put the letter even if i told it to but i'm quite happy how it looks and like for instance here, I think we have something journal without a new because he didn't feel like making a U. But sometimes I can think that, well, that's okay. But I just, I didn't want to have that 
um, on my cover, but maybe inside uh, or maybe sometimes, you know, soon. I'm not sure. I kept it if I want to use it. So this uh, sticker comes from the Traveler Company. I got it when I bought um, the monthly uh, the monthly insert uh, and then I put a washi sticker here uh, an old sticker that says La Tour Eiffel France uh, just to remind me that this is a traveler's company and and that life is also about traveling even though we haven't been able to do that for a couple of years not as much as I am used to at least so 2022 trip traveler's notebook for all the travelers who have a free spirit. Thank you. Amen on that. Anyway, so um, and then on the inside, it starts always with this plain paper with this box that you can do whatever you want to. And with this insert, you get the 2022. So now I know that this insert is for the whole year. And I put a washi with all the month here and a small uh, cute uh, plant. And um, then here I am about to, uh, I marked when I am away because this one is called the travel plan. So um, I've been marking, you know, when we are going away somewhere or if I am going away somewhere and I will write some lines between these different things. Um, so this I will will make it more uh, visible, uh, you know, as for instance, here we were away skiing. So here I am going to put a line between and I'll put, you know, where we were. And then like here we were away skiing again uh, or sorry, here we were away skiing. And here we are. Uh, here was another thing that we were doing. And here we were away skiing. So, yeah, it looks it looks quite nice. Well, looks quite nice it's a uh, valuable information and uh, here uh, you know I am planning I am planning a lot for my autumn right now so here also I will put the the dates when I am not at home uh, when I am about uh, out and about and working with clients uh, I'll write that here also anyway and so this is a monthly spread so every page looks like this so there is you know monday to sunday and this is the particular september month um and you have it highlighted here and then you have the august month that was the month before and then you have the upcoming months afterwards and i think that's quite cute but uh, i decided uh to put washes on it washes that are a little bit transparent so i will keep seeing all of the dates but it it's more you know colored uh, with this one and <clears throat> here I write about something every day or nearly every day. That is, you know, something that st sticks out. Uh, not It doesn't have to be, um, uh, you know, gratitude theme, but things, you know, that are like, for instance, uh, my father-in-law, he is very, very old. He uh, got very sick on Friday, so, and I'll talk about that later. Uh, I get so sad and um, uh, angry, actually, when I talk about <laughs> this particular situation. Uh, but I'll talk to you about that in another video where I'm more chatty. Um, yeah, so I will write that there, of course. And in that way, I have a good overview of how the month looks like. And then I go you know, as I want with the decorations. So here I put another washi, here I put another washi, and I will put another washi here. I think that looks nice and very um, colorful and happy. And this insert is all about being in the monthly spread. And then you have some pages here um, that I'm not sure yet what I want to do, but it might be reflection about the year, you know, goals for next year or whatever I want to um, use these for. Then we have the green one. And this one is a undated weekly planner. And this one comes in two pieces. So this is a half year um, uh, planner and undated, as I said. So here I have decided to put my memories. So he, in this one is the memory keeping planner. 
and I put, you know, decorated it with some, you know, cute stickers. Uh, I like how it looks. Simple, but yet some colorful. And here you can see that the E didn't really work out well. Here it worked out better, but not perfection. And this one, not so much. But I thought it looked kind of cool anyway. So I decided to use it. And as I said, the green one is in the center of this elastic band. And this one is tucked together with another insert. So they are, you know, behind. So now may, you may, might know the prince principle. Um, and this one is called the weekly undated. Uh, I haven't written that there because there's no number on these planners. Uh, and I decided to start on the February 21st because that's the date when I started this health challenge that I am in. And, um, and then I'll go forward using all of these pages and I will probably change. Well, so if I started in the end of February, that means that I will have to change to the new one in the end of August and then I'll go another six months ahead. Or if I decide <clears throat> I want to, you know, end up in the end of June and then start a new one. We'll see about that. All it's all about flexibility. Uh, it comes with the yearly overview from January till um, June in a little bit um, like this. So here is the first two pages are from January till June, and here are some things for my own my eyes only. So I decided to put the clip here, and uh, here we have July to December. So quite a lot of space to write if you write small and uh, yeah you can do your tracking or you can do your planning or whatever you want to and then uh, as I said I started the 21st of uh, February so I'll show you how it looks when it's clean it looks like this actually so you have your Monday to Sunday horizontal and then you have whatever you want to do on the other side but you can also see that the line goes like this so you can also use this for the whole monday if you want to and then you have um, i'm not sure if you see this but here you have some prepared lines so that you can easily write you know all the the numbers that you want to um, if you want to mark what kind of week this is um, or month or whatever. And I decided that I wanted to have um, the month and the year and then I write the week number underneath. And <clears throat> I was, you know, a little bit, you know, cautious in the beginning because I was thinking that I wanted to have the weekly vertical spreads uh, I was so, you know, inspired by Cecilia when she is using her creative uh, side of her in these spreads, you know, writing about memories and then putting some washes and so forth. But uh, at the same time, I really needed this vertical um, page for my own use uh, when it comes to my work. And I ended up actually starting to write as if this was going to be a memory uh, page. Uh, right. Uh, well, where did I do that? Let's see. Um, here. <laughs> uh, and then I realized that no, I'm not going to use this one for that. I am going to use this page for that. And <clears throat> so what I what I did was that I am thinking of using Monday to Sunday in some part, and then all of the other space, I write some selective memories of the week or thoughts or anything that I want to write about. And then, of course, starting to play with the stickers. So here is the premiere, the first page of the first spread of this planner. So it's the February month, it's the week eight, and it's the 21st of February. So here I can write about some things that happened. I put made a small line, and then I started to do some to-dos here, but then I realized that, no, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I have that uh, in 
this planner and in my work planner so let's all go uh, of um the for the memories and you know mixing with the stickers the themes the colors whatever i want to this is actually color wise so it's a bit like brownish nude colors i would say pink maybe and here i was starting with this from the raven ink um and i thought that let's make a happy color uh page uh so i played a little bit with a stamp from um I think it's from Eli, Eli Edwards and I was stamping here. These are the small stamps from the, is it Midori? No, it's the MU, these, this brand. Um, I have plenty of them. And um, here I wrote about the food that we've been eating. Um, and here I marked the weight loss, six and a half kilos. Not after one week, but uh, since the beginning of the year. Um, high and lows in different colors. And I love it very much so. Um, and then we have this spread where uh, the International Women's Day uh, was captured by these lovely stickers um, with different women. And then, you know, about the, the week. Here is a stamp that I got from a friend, Cecilia that I love and here I used the Tomo Jewel the Tombow Jewel pens um, you know painting the sticker and then I put the sticker onto the paper works really well here is a receipt that I got from the Bojo planner and Maria <coughs> and <coughs> some you know journaling behind it and I really love I love the paper the paper is Midori paper so it dries really fast uh, and i'm very happy for that because that's the <clears throat> sorry that's one of the big reasons why i have nearly uh left the hobonichi for the meat for the time being because i get so sad when i am you know working with all of my pages and my my decorations and everything and then it <clears throat> something happened that made the ink doesn't want to dry as fast as I thought it was dry. And then I do like this and then I have destroyed the page. Destroyed. I know that it's not, you know, a big deal in one way because I have learned how to just accept it. But I'm, at the same time, it's always on the top of the mind that, okay, Maria, please uh, put the paper, you know, where, you know, where do you have your hand and everything. And I don't feel free and creative in that position. So um, with the Midori paper, it takes the ink really well. And as you can see, and um, it dries instantly. So I am very happy with that. Uh, yeah, so I keep throwing, flip throwing this. Here we have another kind of, you know, spread as well as here. Um, I think this I think this spread, or was it this one? No, this one. I think this spread got really viral. So that's kind of, you know, very honoring. Um, many people liked it uh, on Instagram. Anyway, uh, and here we have, uh, we were away uh, in the Swedish Alps in the north of Sweden for a week. And I write a little bit about that here. And here we have this week. And this week is much more colorful, much more Easter theme, I thought, with this going in yellow orange. <clears throat> and here I played around with two different um, pens. Uh, one that is uh, with the ink of uh, the Kaweco. Uh, and it's called, let's look in my reference book. Because here I do my swatches and I'll show you here. So this ink is the Kaweco Smoky Grey written right now with the Kaweco Sport White F. Fine nib. Love, love, love. And <clears throat> here this one is written with... Uh, doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo. Where are you? 
Mm. I use this one, the Coveco Sport Black with the F, and I use also this one, the Owl Sport, because um, here's an extra fine nib. So I tried, here's the extra fine, and then I went over for the little bit broader nib. Yeah. Um, so I love this. I love, you know, being, you know, all over the page. Anyway, so then when I don't really have the time for, or place, or space, sorry. And so then when I don't have the space to write about other things than what just happened, or, you know, that is around the memory for today, uh, I have another spread, and it's this one. And this one I call journal. So wishes, have a nice day. I put the small Eiffel Tower here, some coffee stains, and then my dear, as in my dear journal. Uh, and here is uh, much more of a personal spread. So I'll put my hand a little bit around the pages. Um, 013, the lightweight paper. And this paper is very much lightweight. Uh, it's actually a Tomo River paper. And it's this insert has 128 pages comparing to this one that has, you know, half a year, like 60 pages. Half a year, well, yeah, as, well, you see what I mean. 30 pages here and 30 pages on the other side. So around 60 pages. Mm. But the interesting thing is that this paper, even though it's a Tom River paper, I have a feeling that it it uh, dries much better than the Hobonichi paper. So it's thin and it is so nice to write with. Sorry, uh, choosing the but it, it is uh, the best paper and the best ink and the best pen. Let me introduce to the Kaweco Sport, uh, the Macchiato, and I have, uh, it's called Kaweco Skyline Sport Macchiato uh, with a medium nib. And the ink is Kaweco Caramel Brown, and that's in the cartridge, but you can write, you can of course buy them with in the bottle, and I will, I will for sure do that, because this brown is heavenly, nice to write with uh it's it's smooth it's beautiful i love the way how it you know fluctuates of how the color looks like and yeah uh here i journal about things i'm not sure if i have anything that is that in you know private but here I write about everything that happened around the sickness of my 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 father in um my father-in-law um, and ironically I put don't stress do your best forget the rest but this day was a stressful day so it was quite nice to have that uh, sticker there and then I keep going and writing about the things here putting some stickers and then last morning I woke up at five o'clock in the morning um, and then I was was you know trying to fall asleep again but I could not so I went up before six o'clock, like five thirty in the morning, uh, and I because I wanted to keep writing with this magical pen. <laughs> so yes, I did. I started the morning by writing a little bit, and it was very nice. And I will uh, end uh, my my thoughts because then I lost myself into decorating and doing everything around the planners. Anyway, so yes, I love this. So today I might put the 10th of April and then I'll write about this day today if I have anything to write about. And if I don't, well, then I don't. Then I keep keep myself being on this page. Uh, and if I have anything else that I want to write about that is, you know, undated, that is something about a thought or a feeling or something, well, let's just keep journaling. So I love this. I love, love, love this. Um, and um, when it comes to uh, the trip, when we're going to Paris, well, I think I will we'll be using this one for the journaling. And of course, I will write about the things also in the, my small passport, but that's in another video. 
and then on the end of this this is a long video i will end this quite soon so here is if this was the place where where we started then we end up here by having a really large pocket with a zipper that you can put whatever you want to into it and then here you have the other craft paper uh, with some stickers and then i also carry this pencil board uh that has really these really nice i don't know if you see this but really nice uh different illustrations uh and with the lines on the other side so i can easily uh, use this for uh, my journaling so this is something that i have to buy some more of of course because i want to have them in my in my different planners where i have my my extra thin or does it say lightweight paper when they come with no lines so yes guys this is the memory keeping planner and the journaling place my comfort place where i can write about everything and anything i hope that you i uh, thank you if you're still here of course uh, and if you liked what you've seen, please give me a thumbs up. And um, if you have any comments or questions, guidance uh, around this Traveler's Notebook new uh, era, please don't hesitate, write and enlighten me. And if you would like to stay in touch, please, please subscribe so that you will make sure that you are here when I am. Guys. Take care, have a nice day, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye!